All right, Pablo Gunner here. Kellen Goff from Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm Freddy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> awesome, thank you. So uh, I'm going to be honest, I have not played the game, uh, but I know it's magnificent. I've watched uh, Let's Plays of it because they're fantastic to watch because people get terrified, and I'm... Yeah. No, not him. I don't. I don't like to watch the people that are popular. Uh, I try to. I'm, I'm kind of like very uh, hipster like, that way. I'm like, the oh, they yeah. have enough followers. They're good. I'm. I, I, they don't. You want to support the you know? the smaller. Yeah, I'm gonna start. So that's what I did. I watched like a podcast. Okay. You know, they they did it, and okay. uh, and it was hilarious because you know they're terrified. Yeah. And uh, so. So yeah, so you do the main, the main voice. Yeah, I am uh, the first ever voice of any Freddy. I mean, there's a Fred Bear, but it, it gets into very complicated uh, semantics. But um, I'm the first ever voice actor of any Freddy. I play Funtime Freddy in Five Nights at Freddy's sister location, but I just say Freddy in Five Nights at Freddy's because it's shorter. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So what, what was that like? It was cool. Um, I got an audition from my friend. He sent it over to me, and uh, I, I was very sleep-deprived at the time, so with all of the rest of my energy, I just screamed into the microphone and did what they wanted. They wanted someone that um, the kids would like, but your parents would be kind of, eh, to leave them alone with. Um, and... Uh, no, I, I I did what they uh, I I I figured you know like kind of Chuck E. Cheese, so I did sort of like a demonic kind of Chuck E. Cheese kind of deal, but um with with a little bit of Hannibal Lecter, and uh, they liked it, so um I did it all from home, and uh, yeah, then now here I am the, for um for something that I did last year now, okay. yeah. So what do you think it is, though, that, like, attracts, of course, uh, like, kids specifically? I think kids like the adrenaline. I think they like the rush of um, of getting scared because you, you go to, like, Not Scary Farm or Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights or whatever, and there there's a lot of kids there want, seeking out the thrills. I think the other part of it, well, there are two other parts. I think... It's the same appeal as Chuck E. Cheese, where colorful character animal dealies, and um, I think it's also they the the whole community like uh, watching somebody else get scared is funny right. to them, and and I think they also like the lore. I don't know. It's a lot of things. I I feel, but um, it's hard to point to one and say that's the definitive thing. Yeah, I think it's. A, Combination, yeah. Yeah, the look, the feel, though. I think the whole aesthetic of it, because we've had, there's been a lot of kids even this weekend here at Santa Fe Comic Con, and they are cosplaying as characters, right? Right, yeah, no, there was this uh, Funtime Freddy um, that came, uh, youtube.com slash that droid guy, and he was just decked out in this full... Uh, freaking suit, and it was the best fun time Freddy I'd ever seen. And I like, I was like, <gasps> like, like I was so awestruck. And um, yeah, I, I I think it's a challenge for cosplayers, but a good challenge. Like they like to do this challenge because it's going to be like a full mechanical or cardboard or paper or what have you suit or duct tape. And um, I think they like it for that reason. Um, but I don't know. I couldn't delve much farther than that because I'm sure there are deeper reasons. I just couldn't uh, start even begin to relate to them. For sure. So, uh, do you know how much this game is right now, and like where we can find it? Uh, it is on both app stores, uh, Android or Apple Store, and I believe it's like five dollars or four dollars there. And then it's also on Steam on. Uh, on PC or Mac, I think, uh, for like ten dollars or five dollars. I don't know. I haven't checked it in a long time, but it's in, it's in the affordable price range. So at least there's that. Okay, cool. So where can we haunt you online? Uh, you can haunt me on Twitter 
at Kellen Goff, K-E-L-L-E-N-G-O-F-F. Or you can do that same thing, Kellen Goff, at, uh, with, a, with a dot com. So Kellen Goff dot com. And uh, those are the two places I hang out most. Okay, awesome. And so is there any like future projects you can tell us about or that we should check you out? Um, well, there's stuff that just released. The stuff I'm doing right now I'm not allowed to talk about because of NDAs, yeah, but yeah. I was just in this video game called A Hat in Time, and I played the uh, Snatcher Minions in that, and that, that's, that's pretty popular right now. I, w- I was also in the uh, new update of Warframe, uh, which is a cool MMO, uh, Planes of Eidolon, as a bunch of the uh, enemy Grenier characters. So uh, th- those two are my most recent. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely.